Let's hope Thursday Night Football can be good to us this week. The Washington Commanders and the Chicago Bears kick off Week 6. Carson Wentz hasn't been receiving the greatest of praises from his head coach, but most of Washington's struggles can be attributed to their defense. That bodes well for Chicago, who still can't get their offense in check outside of the run game. Our pick this week is going to be Commanders by 5. We believe that Wentz will be efficient enough to lead this team to a victory. The spread to take here would be the Commanders. Transitioning into Sunday, the San Francisco 49ers face the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons just want to shake off their heartbreaking and controversial loss of last week, but will have a tough task against D'Amico Ryans and the first-ranked 49ers defense. And that is why we're taking the 49ers to win this game by six. Hard to imagine Atlanta moving down the field often against this defense. Our suggestion on the spread is 49ers minus six. Moving on to the New England Patriots and the Cleveland Browns. The Patriots haven't lost to the Browns since 2010, but don't give them the win just yet, as both Mac Jones and Damon Harris could be inactive. The Browns continue to lose games within the final two minutes, with the latest being from a missed field goal. All right, so now you can lock in that Patriots win. Pats by four. Cleveland will have lots of trouble trying to hold down Ramondre Stevenson. The spread to take here is Patriots plus three. Hard to believe that both of these teams have the same record. The New York Jets versus the Green Bay Packers. New York possibly has found their next franchise running back in Brees Hall and even a lockdown corner in Sauce Gardner. The Packers are looking to rebound after the 27-22 upset loss against the Giants last week. We believe in the rebound. Packers by 9 is our pick. The Jets are nice, but Green Bay is still the more well-rounded team. Our suggestion on the spread is Packers minus 7.5. AFC South matchup between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Indianapolis Colts. The last time these two teams faced was back in Week 2, where the Jags shut out the Colts 24 to nothing. There's a pretty good chance that this game will be a lot closer, as the Colts' defense since that game has stepped it up. This time, we're taking the Colts in a close one to win by two. Shaquille Leonard's presence this time around will make a difference. The spread to take here is Colts minus two. The 4-1 Minnesota Vikings versus the 3-2 Miami Dolphins. With the exception of their loss to the Eagles, the Vikings have looked like a legitimate contender to win the NFC. The Dolphins are preparing to start rookie quarterback Skylar Thompson, with both Tua Tagovailoa and Teddy Bridgewater still in concussion protocol. We believe the Vikings advance to 5-1, win by 10. Disregard Miami's offense, their defense has given up way too many big plays. Our suggestion on the spread is Vikings minus three and a half. Louisiana sports fans might be split in this one. The Cincinnati Bengals versus the New Orleans Saints. Both teams view this as a must win, with the loser falling to two and four. The Bengals dropped to the Ravens last week, while Taysom Hill helped lock in the Saints' second win. We're going to go with the Bengals by a field goal. The Saints' defense is solid, but recently, they struggled in the secondary. The spread to take here is the Bengals minus one and a half. Who would have imagined that the New York Giants would have a better record than the Baltimore Ravens? The Ravens topped off the Bengals last week with credit to the right leg of Justin Tucker. Meanwhile, the Giants put off the shocking victory against the Packers in London. This week, we're picking the Ravens to win by 11. Brian Dable has done an amazing job thus far, but the Ravens are so difficult to contain on offense. Our suggestion on the spread is Ravens minus 6. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Though they played a very great game last week, some would say the Buccaneers survived in their victory against the Falcons. The Steelers haven't looked efficient yet with Kenny Pickett at quarterback, but perhaps this could be the week. Well, we don't believe so. We're still taking the Bucs to win in this one by 17. Pittsburgh has way too many holes on both sides of the ball to keep up in this game. The spread to take here is Buccaneers minus 8. The start of a new era. The Carolina Panthers versus the Los Angeles Rams. Panthers offense is going under drastic changes as Matt Rule was fired and P.J. Walker will start this week. The Rams continue to struggle against top-tier defenses, so they're hoping they can catch a break this week. We believe that they will catch that break. We're picking the Rams to win by 14. Too many questions this week surround the Panthers for them to make it a close game. Our suggestion on the spread is Rams minus 10. NFC matchup between the Arizona Cardinals and the Seattle Seahawks. In the last three weeks, Geno Smith, hasn't written back, leading an explosive passing attack. The Cardinals in every game this season have been down by halftime. Can they generate a competent first-half offense this week? Well, 
Honestly, I don't know. But we do have Arizona winning in the end by seven. Seattle's defense has had difficulty containing offenses all year. The spread to take here is Cardinals minus three. A rematch of last year's game of the year. The Buffalo Bills versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City won last year, and my guess is that they'll focus their attention on Gabriel Davis just a bit more this week. For the Bills, they can prove that they truly are the best team in the AFC and even the NFL with a redemption win. This could go either way, but we're taking the Bills by four. The deciding factor for us is the defense, which looks to be much better than last season. Our suggestion on the spread is Bills minus two and a half. Sunday Night Football, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Cooper Rush is now 5-0 as a starting quarterback after the statement win against the defending Super Bowl champs. The Eagles' offense, as great as they've been, may have their toughest test yet this week. We're still taking the Eagles to win by four. We believe the Cowboys' defense will make this very close and competitive until the end. Because of that, the spread we recommend here is Cowboys plus six. And finally, Monday Night Football, the Denver Broncos versus the Los Angeles Chargers. No chance that the Broncos' offense sputters for six straight weeks, not after last week's pressure from the media and the fans. The Chargers, as talented as they are, must do a better job in certain coaching decisions, such as last week's fourth and two dilemma. We don't believe this will be the highest scoring game in the world, but we still get the Chargers to win by five. Denver hasn't shown much this season for us to trust them. Our suggestion on the spread is Chargers minus four and a half. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more weekly picks every Thursday, and be sure to give me a follow on Twitter as well, at It's Hassan Khan. We'll love to chat with everyone during the games. Thank you guys so much for watching this video.